Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm a hand lettering artist and illustrator based in London in the UK. Um, and I run Betty Etiquette. And in my studio, there's normally ink and paint and brushes everywhere as I make different uh, logos, designs, illustrations and lettering for people for all kinds of different reasons, whether it be from logo design to creating gift cards. Um, and mostly this week, I've spent the time doing something quite magical for the lovely people at Cult Pens who've sent me some amazing products from Faber-Castell, their brand new unicorn range. So I have got to spend this week, which is the perfect assignment for me, because um, our house, I've got two children and our house is full of all kinds of chats about fairies and unicorns and dragons. So this week I've spent lots of time figuring out a way to spend some time with you, um, creating some unicorns with these brand new products. Um, so before we get started, you're gonna have to gather a few things. We're gonna need some paper, um, some uh, pencils, some colouring pencils, some watercolours um, or some felt tip pens, whatever you've got to hand, um, maybe a glue stick or um, some sellotape and some scissors. So meet me back here. Um, I'm going to get my uh, trusty overhead camera and then I can show you and we can walk through a few ideas on how you can create a magical unicorn too. So today we're going to be working towards creating something a little bit like this. This is my unicorn. I haven't given her a name yet. Um, so if you want to give her, if you've got any ideas, I'd love to see those in the comments. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the steps to get us to this stage. I'm going to whiz through these because I've got your, um, your lovely selves to uh, hang around with me for about 20 minutes. But this might take you a bit longer for you to create. So if you want to stop and start the video, um, go for it. And then you can come back when you've had a chance to make yours as jazzy and as colourful as you like. So to get us started, we need to first take our um, take a piece of paper and a pencil and we're going to draw the outline of the unicorn. Now, unicorns are notoriously hard to draw. Bit of horses. Here we go. I'm going to grab a pencil. Um, so I'll tell you what, actually, I might use one of these fab pens. So this is part of the new range. So I'm going to grab myself this one here. These are brilliant. You can see they all clip together. You can make crazy models out of them and um, but also it really helps keep them tidy we have lots of these in our house and it's brilliant to, I mean they've got so many lovely colors too now I'm gonna use a pen but I advise maybe you guys using a pencil um, but I'll use a pen so you can stand out really well so I'm gonna do this in sections so if you want to follow me and stop and start the video um, then uh, that might be easier for you or just follow along at your own pace so we're gonna first start with our head first of all so we're gonna create this section here which is going to be our nose. I'm going to pop the nose in here so you can see, normally I do that a bit later but perhaps then you can see where we're heading to here. Okay and this is the eye and then we're going to do one ear so we're doing the front section of the unicorn first and then we're going to add the back sections of them in a minute and then we're going to run down the back so one sweeping line down to about there, we'll stop there for a minute. And then we're going to do that back leg section first. So this is the leg that will be at the front of the unicorn. So we're going to see most of this leg. So we're doing that line longer there. And then there's the back of, I guess, the knee area on the horse, on the unicorn, sorry. There we go, and then we're gonna add that little section here. And I'm going to go back up to the top here. We're going to finish this off when we've got the lower section of the tummy in here. So we're going to go back up to this section here. And maybe halfway along, a little bit more than halfway, I'm going to bring the neck down there. So you add that line in there, it's starting to look a little bit more like the neck. And then you're using a pencil, so you can run a right across. There we go, I'll show you. Run right across this line here. So we're going to bring that line right the way down. Just going to meet the back leg in a second. So I'm going to just fill that in with my pen. And I can rub out this bit here. And then we've met, we're going to make a kind of V shape. This is going to show you the muscle of the back leg. I'm going to bring that down here. So it's making this shape here. And 
bring it in a little bit further towards the knee and then we're going to meet that there and that's the back leg and then draw a little line on the end of that and that's the hoof and then we're going to need another leg back there so it's a similar shape to this line but it's a slightly further over we we'll start with that shape there and then we're going to do the lower section of the leg and the bottom of the hoof and then draw that hoof in there there we go and then we're going to need this top leg in the front here so they're kind of galloping forwards this unicorn kind of into the night or into the rainbow and um, so i'm going to do a kind of v shape at the top here to do the top mm, kind of muscly section of the leg and then to make this look like it's galloping forwards we've got this corner section here and then let's do one underneath that as well and then we're going to bring it around the corner here like this hoop in there so that's the front leg and then the one that was on the other side of the unicorn needs another kind of v-shape there and again we're gonna go around a corner and add in a hoof there it kind of look like they're running forward now there's something very important missing this is key they're beautiful and then we need a little ear back here it's slightly lower than that one at the front and we're going to add the ear shape in there okay so you would have done with it with a pencil I've done it with a pen so that you can see a bit more clearly on the camera but if you've if you've got um, areas that you need to kind of rework, go back through and rub out bits here. And if depending on how old you are or how kind of practiced you are um, at this kind of thing, you might want to um, make it a little bit simpler. So if you don't want to make your your legs quite so kind of muscly back here, you can just do a long shape there instead. As long as you've got your four leg shapes and two of them are coming forward leaping towards the sun or towards a rainbow and two of them going back off this body here and um, then you're going to be on the right path now still not looking quite kind of unicorny enough so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some color on it here's one i've started so yours will look a bit more like this one with a pencil edge there we go um, so i've just started to use a little wash here so i've used these paints which are very exciting because they come this range come with a set of unicorn stickers which i'm sure are going to be stolen by my daughter um and some of this beautiful we'll come back to this in a minute because i want to put on everything now um uh, rainbow glitter it's rainbow glitter paint it's amazing it makes it super shiny now these paints are super cool because they all come out into sections which you can build and kind of move around which i love and they're such lovely colours, really great pigments. So sometimes when you get paints that are aimed at kids, they're not very good quality, but these are brilliant. So yeah, these are really great fun. Um, also really good if you've got, uh, you want to share them out um, so that kids can swap and change them and they don't have to all sit around the same area of the table. And you can use the lid as a mixing tray as well. Um, so I'm going for, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra one of these lovely brushes as well this is a great range these have got these lovely soft grip handles on um, and they're really good quality so i'm going to add a little bit of water to get this going yeah and then i'm going to use this to mix up a little bit i don't want it too strong i just want to add some hints of purple over here and again 
see you take your time because unicorns by their very nature are very magical and they might need patterns on yours you might want stars on them you might want to make them all completely stripy so i'm going to the sections underneath like this underneath the head and where the legs are meeting and underneath the back legs the legs that are kind of would be a little bit in shadow underneath the tummy i'm adding a bit of a darker tone to it a bit more texture to it. Now you can use any kind of felted or crayons to decorate yours as well. So I'm going to add a bit of pencil crayon. I might add a bit of texture back here. Again, let me move these to the side, clip these back together. more time over this this is the fun bit and I've left mine without a kind of heavy outline but if you wanted to go around it in something a bit darker you could I might add some little stars on their back start to make them come to life a little bit And this is obviously the all-important unicorn horn. I'm going to make mine stripy. Okay. Maybe use a bit of that pink to bring. So these are lovely. These um, pencil crayons have got really brilliant grips, and if you can have a, you can see that really well. But they've got these lovely grips here, and they are kind of a triangle shape, which means they're really lovely to hold. So they're great for children, and um, we do use these quite a lot in our house actually. <clears throat> for my little girl. Okay. So you can elaborate on these. These these ones this new range i've also got these sparkle pastels in which are really brilliant as well i'm going to show you what they look like in a second so the next thing we need to do is you need to fill all of this in so that you're really happy with the colors and the shades on it and then we need to cut your unicorn out <clears throat> so this is my cut out version so if you need to um, get someone to help you with that um if you want to if you need some help with scissors then make sure you're asking um, an adult to um, help you out with the scissors um, but I've gone around to the very edges of this unicorn and I've added in some details here and um, with some pens and the other thing I've used is this amazing rainbow glitter I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is now yeah and you can use it on a brush or I just use it on my fingers actually got a little bit out and then I've made the unicorn horn really sparkly and added some in the extra bits on their back and on their hooves as well. Now, this isn't quite up to a uh, magical unicorn standard yet. We're going to need a tail and some hair. So what I've done is I've cut some strips of paper. Here's some examples. i cut some strips of paper about <clears throat> six or seven centimeters wide. And then I've drawn stripes down this sheet of paper. So for this one, I've used these lovely paints, watercolor paints. 
I've drawn stripes with all of these amazing colours down them. And the key is to do it on both sides of your paper, okay? So you want to do one side, leave it to dry, and then reverse it and do the same kind of stripes on the other side. And they don't have to be too neat because we're going to turn them into hair in a minute anyway. Um, and these are these gorgeous pastel, these new pastel colours from um, the new unicorn range. And those have come out really beautifully. They kind of give a lovely um, shimmer on them as well, which I really love. And these ones are the pens. So I'm going to have a go at some of the pens to show you how I did those ones. Let's get a few of these colours out. <clears throat> so I've slowly gone down the page and added colour all the way down. And you can do your lines as thick or as thin as you like. And again, I would reverse it onto the other side so I'd make sure that I coloured in the other side as well. I'm going to go for a pink next. Just working carefully down. Now you can see on these ones, I worked all the way across with the different colours uh, on both sides. There's some really, really lovely colours in that pen range, um, so they give me this really lovely bright rainbow effect. Um, so I need to decide which one I'm going to use for this unicorn. And I think probably, mm, I might go for the pen ones actually. So I'm going to use these ones, I'm going to put these to the side. What we're going to need to do is grab a pair of scissors and then making sure you leave a section at the top that isn't cut. So we're going to leave about a centimetre that we don't cut into. I'm going to slowly cut and carefully cut some little sections like this. And this is going to become their hair. So I'll do one example for you to see. It's lovely because we have a bit, a little bit of a 3D effect going on. So cut all the way along. You can make yours thick, thicker or thinner. Try some different styles out. You could even add some of the rainbow glitter to these as well. And when you've got this, this will start to look like this like, little fringe here. Then I'm going to concertina it together, so I'm going to make little Z shapes like that. And another one like that. Another one, you could roll it too if it's easier, you could roll it up. If this looks, if this feels a bit fiddly, maybe ask a grown up to give you a hand. And suddenly we've got these lovely rainbow hair appearing. And this is the cool bit, because you get to stick it on the back of your unicorn. So I'm going to use a little bit of sellotape, but you could use whatever you've got handy, some glue. I'm using sellotape to save a bit of time right now. But I'm going to glue it to the back of my unicorn, like this. There we go. And turn it over. And this is the cool bit, because you get to be a unicorn hairdresser. So now you can fold some bits down, make sure all the colours you want to be seen are seen. There we go, I might fold that one down a little bit there. So she looks like she's really jumping into the wind, into the stars. There we go, and you do the same with your tail as well. And if you want to make it a little bit shorter, you can then be a real unicorn hairdresser and you can actually shorten it as well get yourself some little bits off so decide how short or how long you like it there we go and so you've got this lovely 3d effect unicorn mane right let's get these little pieces out of the way because what we need is a background fit for a unicorn so here's an example of one i made <clears throat> and this one 
was my daughter's idea for a kind of intergalactic feel. Um, so to do this, I used the watercolour paints and some of these lovely brushes. And I've used some watercolour paper, but thick card would also work too. Okay, let's get some of these colours out. And I've added some big sections of colour like this, thinking about the planets and the stars, and then some water, extra water to bring it to life, and slowly work to build up the colours. such a great range. I'm such a believer in children having high quality art materials to make the best things that their imaginations then can come up with. And these ones from Faber Castell really do just that. The pigment is just so lovely and thick and strong. The kind of thing that I would use in my sketchbook all the time. Okay, so and you slowly build it up and build it up like this and I've actually you can do all kinds of different techniques on here I'm sure you've got some really brilliant ones that you can imagine at home but I've added some rock salt here or you can use a candle you could draw over it with a candle first and um, with a birthday kind of cake candle and then paint over the top of it too that would give you a lovely effect so have a play around with what you can do with your um, watercolors alternatively if you've just got some um uh some pens or some crayons or some um, coloured pencils at home you could do something that is just beautiful with those two you could work through I've added some of this was with a little bit of watercolour and then mainly this is another example I've added lots of pencil crayon here to make some clouds like this so again I've used a watercolour background but you could use felt tip or crayons. And I've left some spaces for the clouds and then I'm adding some extra, extra effects in on top. And then when you're happy with your background, there we go. Now, which one am I gonna use for my, I think I'm gonna go with the intergalactic background for this one. Here we go. I've got her mane on and now I'm going to grab a tail so I'm going to use this tail I'm going to stick that one on the back there and then I'm going to give that one a little bit of a trim there we go, so I'm going to need a little bit more cellar tape there Here we are. pop that in your position that way you want to oh I can see that <laughs> rainbow glitter is shimmering so much I might add that to some of my background too. There we go. I'm going to give her a trim because she definitely. Let's use my page here for a second. This definitely needs a little bit of a trim here. Her tail is looking like. It needs something a bit more jazzy. Right, when you're happy with your mane and your tail, you can pop your unicorn on your background. And then with a little bit of glue, you can glue her down. And if you wanted to make it into something like a sign for your bedroom, you could add your name at the bottom here, or you could use it on a gift card instead. So you could actually fold your A4 paper into half like that, and then add your unicorn in like a gift card here, a greeting card, and then that could be some become someone's super duper birthday card. So there's a few ideas of how I've used this fantastic new playing and learning range um, unicorn themed uh, special edition from the Faber-Castell range um, this week in my studio. I've had absolutely um, loads of fun getting used to all these different um, new 
materials, these beautiful pencils, which really, really have this really gorgeous, strong pigment. Um, these pens, which have kept me totally distracted <laughs> when I should have been doing other much more boring things, sorting out my uh, receipts and things and my uh, tax return and all sorts of boring things like that. Um, these are such a lovely range of um, of products for young people and they really are made with kids um, at the heart of, uh, of their design these the way in which everything way you which you hold everything um and the colors and the um just the the playfulness of them um are really fantastic so thank you Colt pens um and thank you faber castell for letting me have uh, letting me loose on this brilliant brief i hope you guys are um going to have some fun making your own unicorns um and i really would love to see uh, if you have a go um please do share with us um over on uh, the Colt pens uh, social media sites I'm sure they would love to see them too that's it from me thank you for letting me steal you away for a, um, a little while to do something creative with me um, you can find out more about me and what I do over at Betty Etiquette on Instagram and Facebook or on my website bettyetiquette.co.uk um, and uh, yeah I'm really grateful to Colt Pens and Faber-Castell for letting me have this magical magical week playing with their beautiful products